Hello everybody, today I'll be doing tests on my 2019 Toto CT705 on the American Standard Piston Flashometer. And the feeling that that part right there is making that noise. So, yeah, the, the flush is ridiculously short, but here we go. Yeah, that's the flush. It's too short, but we'll just have to see how, we'll just have to see how it does on tests. So, so, so I give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all kind of another flush, here we go. So, yeah. Now, we're gonna start off with a washcloth. Let's see how it will do. It took it right through. Can it take it? Can it take it with two washcloths? Let's see. It did honestly good. Yep. It took it. Now let's try a bag. If it, whenever it's on the Madeira, sometimes it'll fail it and sometimes it'll pass. But with the total, I honestly think it's gonna pass because the trap is fully glazed. Well, I wasn't wrong. It took it, it took it efforts it. Ever so slightly. Effortlessly. I sorry guys, but yeah. <laughs> Concerning it did both of them good to get separately together. Let's try them both together. I am expecting this to fail. <laughs> Why do I get proved wrong? Okay, I got proof drawing again. That did that did well. Considering how much the how much the flush is going short, this video is already two minutes long, and that that's that's how good of a performer this thing is. It's such a short video. Now let's try the dish towel. <laughs> That did, that did, oh, gosh, that did well. All right, the thing that I'm expecting not to be proved wrong, it's gonna fail the dirt test. I'm only gonna put a little bit. I'm only doing it on the bull runs. That's on the bull runs, let's see. Well, it did good, but the lack of the flush. Now, let's see how good it'll get it out of the bowl. Expecting this not to do per well. See that, that did a lot better than I would have honestly expected. The main thing I wasn't expecting it to do too well on was that the bowl rinse. But still did well. Ow. That. Time to do it on the garbage bag. Here we go. This this video is at four minutes and this thing did every single test. <laughs> well, Good 
gosh, that that is a good performer. Gosh, I was expecting this toilet to be this good. Okay. I actually never knew the cut broke. I actually still have some 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 soap left from some of my videos. I might do it on some big tests. Because I was expecting the video to be this good. I was expecting the video to be this short. I think of some big tests I could do this thing on. Alright. I'm gonna see how good on some like I'ma see how good it's not gonna stay. I'ma see how good it'll do on the on three big balls. Well, two washcloths curled up in balls. Nope. It took two flushes to get them down. I'm gonna retry really that. That's one. That's two. I'm gonna angle it differently. And that's three. I guess that wasn't a good idea. You guys ever knew what was it like to pluck the siphon jar on one of these? Well, luckily you got me. So here you go. So yeah, that's how it would be if you plug the siphon jet. So. Let's see how it does on. Here we go. If that would have been on the. If that would have been on the, um. Zern for Shama, that would have for sure took it. Okay, that. Gosh, that air is very good. Here you go. Oh, you should have saw that underneath. That was. That was pretty cool. So, I might do a retry of that. But this time, oh. Here we go. Every time it does that, it gets stuck in the trap way. But, see, that's how good of a performer that is, and that's what you have with Glaze Trap before. It's stuck, and then it smoothly just poops it all out. Like, oh, that's just funny. So, this time I'm going to try it with the garbage bag at the bottom and the grocery bag on top. So, let's see. <laughs> That 
that was a little bit too easy for it. But this time I'm gonna spread the garbage bag out a little bit more. All right, so here you go. I don't want to siphon. I want to, I want to see it siphon. Well, this time I do it different. I'm expecting it to fail. Well, at least struggle. Oh my god. That was a lot. That was easier for it. It looks like all this toy wants to do is eat stuff. And that's all what this toy is doing is eating stuff. Okay. I'm gonna try that try that uh, test again. I'm gonna try a bigger test. I'm expecting this to struggle because of the piston. All right. That ain't budging. Oh. oh gosh. That was a challenge. I honestly like flushing it on the piston for shallowness for a reason. It gives it more of a challenge for performance wise. Let me see in, in the sh in my shed if I have anything good to flush it. So guys, if you remember this, that was a washcloth that a lot of those toilets in there hate to flush. Mostly the two open rims, the um, both the URC open rims. And this toilet can flush it like it's nothing. And a grocery bag on top. Well, be well, because of the stupid piston flushometer, it still did great. Even though it took two flushes, that was still pretty great. I'm gonna literally try that again. Like it was at nothing. So, yeah, it did good on all those tests. Flush everything. I might actually give it a chance and see if it could take it. Let's start off with these. That was actually the first ever toilet that I actually had. Kinda helped it, but. Yeah, even if this thing is on a on the piston flush armor, it still performs quite well. I am, I'm honestly not surprised because with the 100% of a fully glazed trap where this thing has, and I don't wanna see a CT708 go against this. 
I would actually want to get a CT708 for a reason because one, one, I want a wall hung toilet, and two, I would, I heard those really don't perform that well as these do. So, I may, I may do a low, uh, a weak flush. <laughs> Oh, it's partially clogged. I need to see how it does on full pressure. See how much it does to I'm actually having fun. I haven't been talking in the video, but here, let me get a close up of that flush. Here, let me do it on low pressure. So. See. Not really the best. I'm a. I'm gonna do it on a low bowline flush, but if it don't won't stop gurgling, so I'm gonna let the water line. Well, that's the water line considering it's partially clogged. So let's see full pressure. <laughs> Not that partially clogged right now. I think I have an idea. Oh gosh, now that's really partially clogged. So, yeah, I could I could literally flush it on a partially clogged flush all day. So, this video is literally almost 20 minutes long let me know if you want me to do i'm gonna probably stop the video about 20 minutes so i may see put some of that in there see on a partially clogged flush if it at least wash away that little bit of mud <laughs> Flushes like a vintage toilet. The way it does, it it goes up like that, and then siphons. So. So. Yep, the video is about twenty minutes long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>
But I'm also going to take y'all off the tripod real quick. Get to mangles real quick. Here's just close up a guy. This is on a week, on a partially clogged post. I never had this toilet this partially clogged. Here's the side view. All right, front view. Just watch how the water rushes to the front. I think all the water is about out of the tank by now. So, try it one more time. <laughs> 